Their spot put people with spots on the spot. According to a new Match.com ad that appeared in London subways, freckles are considered heinous, disgusting flaws that must be avoided at all costs. Uh, maybe. It shows a close-up of a red-haired, freckled model with the caption, if you don't like your imperfections, someone else will. Terrible. Angry writers went on, of course, Twitter, calling the website out for bullying. Match.com later announced they're taking down the ads after tweeting, freckles are beautiful. We celebrate them as we celebrate whatever makes people unique. We're sorry if we've offended anyone with our ad. They replaced the offensive ad with a new one that says, freckles are great even on fat girls. <laughs> Don't you understand? That's even more offensive, Match.com. That's more offensive. Take that down, too. Uh, let's go to the girls first. Uh, yeah, please. Yes. Kat, uh, couldn't you argue that this is pro-freckles because it raised awareness? I can argue that what the hell, they're freckles rights activists now. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> if you don't like your imperfections, it's probably good that you're self-aware and you can work on fixing them or just uh, learn to love being alone. Either one works. Uh, wow. I've, I've dabbled in both. And uh, I just don't, I, if that's your, come on, man. Like, freckles, freckles, they're freckles. I have moles. I got a mole right here. I got a mole right here. I got a mole right here. I don't think about them that often. <laughs> Come no, on, you don't, man. but you know where they are. Uh -huh. no, well, I mean, I, a few of them. I'm sure I'm missing. <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. That's They're all real, <laughs> not to brag. <laughs> Joanne, this points out something very interesting, an mm. unspeakable truth. Are preferences discriminatory? Like, if you, mm. if you prefer Scottish girls with long legs, dri which is driven by biology, mm. does that make you racist? That's a great question. It's like on The Bachelor or The Bachelorette, when this, you know, bachelor... Pick, there's a whole lot of girls to choose from, but you can tell right away he has a type <laughs> yeah. and is eliminating all the, you know, different looking girls. You're like, oh, wow, but you still like it because yeah. everyone knows we all have preferences. Well, I love freckles. I think freckles are amazing. I say more of them, Abby. Well, In fact, I, I don't see many freckles on you, and I think that's freckless. I've got a ton of freckles, mm. actually. Prove it. If freckles, get a, can you get a close-up on my, on my shirt? Oh, yeah, you know that freckles. Close-up. Yeah. Freckles, right? No, freckles, yeah, right? Yeah, confirmed. Yeah. So if those are imperfections, and I'm a gigantic <laughs> imperfection, I mean, as you're saying, Joan, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Mm -hmm. And so when you have these companies... What about blind people? Oh, you make me sick. <laughs> <laughs> I want to defend Match.com here, though. I mean, okay. There, oh, are, I want there to are freckles, and then there are freckles. Really? Okay. <laughs> Did you see that poster? Yeah, I think that was doctored, by the way. I mean, come on. Yeah, I, but, but I, thought, I find it quite interesting, and uh, perhaps around Steven, your finger's up. I'm just fascinated that I actually heard you use the word heinous and freckle in the same <laughs> sentence. I just, when I leave here, I'm going to immediately go, will you start a punk band with me called Heinous Freckle? Oh, yeah. Heinous <laughs> Freckle. It. It's like, it's a, they're, they're going to open up for the Imagine Dragons. Heinous Freckle. You know, um, <laughs> there's a different kind of intolerance that people uh, avoid. It's creepism. They did this re research that revealed what makes people creepy. And one of the things is not knowing you're creepy. So oh, when, you, yeah. when you don't like somebody, it's not their fault. And they said, that, you know what cre what's creepy? Long fingers, um, unwarranted laughter, greasy hair, essentially Harry Reid. <laughs> <laughs> On that note. Aww. Yeah, it's Harry Reid. <laughs> Got money from Trump, by the way. <laughs> oh, this crowd doesn't like it. He doesn't like it when you when you point that out. Uh, oh, we'll edit it out. No, we're not. We're leaving it in. Okay. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. I brought some candy for everyone. Yes. No, I didn't. I'm lying. Up next. Not thrilled with the current crop of candidates for president? What if they could get remodeled? Joanne and Kat took this daunting project, and you don't want to miss the results. Yeah.